I guess where I am right now in the pool. Um, it's taking forever. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Um, I've I've already like stopped the video and then started it again. So I, I give it two minutes before I stop the video. So that that's the most amount of rambling um, that you'll get from me when I'm in the pool. It's two minutes. That is my heartfelt felt promise to you. Unless I say something like really wise, then maybe I'll give it like a, a bonus 15 seconds or something. Um, although I guess I can just remember the wise thing in the next video. But then it doesn't have the spontaneity, you know. Um, and that's very important to me. Saturday night right now. Um, you know, I could be in the clubs with the ladies. But I'm not in the clubs with the ladies. I'm playing chess for you guys, so I appreciate it. Leave comments. Tell me I'm good. Um, everyone plays this. You know? Oh, they don't play that part. I'm tricked. You tricked me already in the opening. I don't know what to do. It's some sort of alakinish transposition if I play right. But I'm not going to play right. I'm not going to give them the satisfaction of having to alakine. Um, Um, yeah, my position sucks, god damn it. <laughs> I think it's just stupid, you know. Um, I guess I'll do this. Got this ISO ragged pawn. Look like a fool. Tic Tac Song. It's not a bad name. I've seen worse. <laughs> this guy named Death Flower the other day. I hope he's watching. In your face, Death Flower. I smacked this guy up so bad. Um, I wanted to share that with you. I, I was really the point of saying that originally was that it's kind of a cool name. But um, played him three times. He played this weirdest shit, man. And it felt so good because it hurts. You know, it hurts really bad when you when you play someone who does um, all this like weird, unorthodox stuff and then beats you anyway. I know he kept doing the piss me off. He kept moving his knights back and forth in the opening. You know. And you just move him out and then move him back and move him out and move him back. <laughs> like three or four times. Um, and when you lose to someone like that, it's just... It can really erode your soul pretty quickly. Um, hope he takes and he'll open up the F-file for me. That's my dream, baby. You give me that open F-file and just... It warms my soul. Um... That's right. That's what I wanted. Everything's working out, you know. I, I I was pessimistic about this opening, but I never should have doubted myself. Um, wow, that's ugly, isn't it? Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's take a pony out. Let's get this guy. I'm excited. Tick tac. Look at this king. Just sitting there like a big turkey. This guy's taking a sweet time too, man. You gotta when you're defending like this, you know, and you find yourself in a position like this, I mean it, uh, it's a, it's a tough call to make actually. Because I mean you need your time. And you also need to not get crushed, so that's why I always, I always love the attacking chess even more in the blitz game. You know, when you're playing over the board or it's ten or fifteen minutes or something. I don't think it's as important, but in a blitz game like this, having the attack is really worth a lot. Because, you know, if you're attacking and you make a mistake, you know, whatever, you missed, you missed a bit of an advantage. But you're defending, you make a mistake, you're made. Um, I consider that, actually. I uh, figured I would do this. I don't know if it's the best, but work on the king can't be too bad. It's my thought process. May I recommend king b8? Yes, he does it. Thinks he's so smart. Um, let's do some of this. I don't want to give him my clock edge, really. It's, it contributes to the pressure. You know. Continue attacking.
I can take a pawn here. So that's cool, right? Got myself a pawn. Mm. I feel I feel good. Let's do this. I'm I'm around the fact that I usually prefer having a pony against the bishop in these kind of um in these situations, but I shall make do with what I have. And just let's just say again, understanding what I'm doing, I feel like it, it what separates good players from bad players a lot of the time um, is is just the, the tactics. And I don't know if this is news or you know if, if this is well discussed in chess, but what I'm trying to do is like I picture my pieces is the squares they attack a lot of the time, especially with the minor pieces, you know. So I mean, if I if I've got his knight, say example, in in the middle of the board, I'm picturing like you know um, all those those eight squares, you know, just like a big circle around them, you know, because I mean the knight attacks all of this. This is what well, this is what I'm picturing. Um, checkmate. Um, you know, so I mean, if, if you're sort of struggling with tactics, maybe that's a good idea that you could take a look at that. Um, you know, just just. Pick, like light up the squares in your mind, you know. Um, sorry, I have to think um, of, of all the things that are, are being attacked. I know there's computer programs that, that do. I'm, I'm sure I've seen. I know I've seen videos, um, you know, that show all the squares that are being attacked. But that's sort of what I try to do, especially in these. I mean, I do it all the time, but in these, in these end games when it's just. It's like rooks and some minor pieces. You don't have to worry about queens or a whole bunch of pawns cluttering up the board. Um, you know that might be helpful to you to just you know. So when when I've got my bishop in the middle of the board like this, I'm just seeing like a big X in my mind. You know, I'm seeing the big X that it can attack all these, all these, all these. I know if I move this pawn, I've got all these covered. Um, so I mean, it's just a new. It might be a new way for you to look at your pieces. Um, it's helpful to me a lot. Um, I think I can get away. With Doing this. I mean, if he checks me at the rook, obviously I'm, I'm blocking with my rook, is my idea here. But he doesn't. He synced it too, man. Um, I'm just going to do this. This may be like the first game I've uploaded that goes to the finish, you know. <laughs> um, it's nice to be the one with plenty of time there. Um, So yeah, he's, he's weird ass opening, having to defend while leaving his king, you know, in the middle of the board there. Looks like it came back to haunt him just because he's got no time left. Um, so hopefully it's, it's, it's black pieces next time, some Dutch action. Um, and in the meantime, ding. Ding, you bastard. There we go. Um, so yeah, hopefully I get to make a, a Dutch video or something for you guys here. Um, and and I wanted I wanted to end with a knockout mate of great beauty. Um, so keep it tuned until then. Take it easy.